well, it's quite unusual to have a young man of his age venturing into this very serious arena of journalism, let alone travel outside of his country for a tournament. It's certainly the youngest sports journalist covering this African Cup of Nation at the age of 15, and he's from Ghana, undoubtedly the youngest who has covered in recent times. Your name and why you have decided to venture into sports journalism. My name is Mohammed Saeed Abdullahi from Kumasi, Alaba. The reason why I started this journey was that whenever I watched Kinevin in Kumasi, I was like, wow, I want to be like him. Right. And I started. And by the help of my big boss, Wadudu, he helped me a lot to bring me here to cover this Afcon. Well, certainly, uh, you know your age, and then, of course, how difficult is it to enter into this? You are in school. Yes. Uh, I, I envisage. And how do you combine schooling and doing this? When I was in school, I prayed that the AFCON will be moved to January because I knew that in January we will be on vacation and school will resume in March. That's why I am here. And because school will resume in March, that's why I've gotten the opportunity to be here in Ivory Coast to cover this AFCON. And Alhamdulillah, I thank God everything is good here. Well, you are among some of the top journalists on the continent and in the world. You are the media center, certainly one of the best places to be, even for the most experienced of journalists. How do you relate? How happy are you and excited to be among some of the best on the continent in a room and sharing the same seat with them? It's God. I thank God. Alhamdulillah. It's only what I can say because I know it's God. It's God. Alhamdulillah. What have you been learning covering your first international tournament at the age of 15? It's not easy. There's a lot of frustration. The Ivorian police, the volunteers and all that. But everything is all right and have learned a lot in this tournament. And hopefully this will not be the first and last. I hope to go to more tournaments. But the challenges you've mentioned with the volunteers, with the Ivorian police, do they see when question your age and, and doubt the fact that you've been accredited to cover the tournament or sure. your interest? Yes. Sure. And what, how do you explain this? How do you resolve this with them? Speaking French is not easy, but I try to I try to translate the English to French so that they can understand what I am saying. Yeah. Obviously, your guardians or parents will be involved, uh, very supportive in this. Sure. You have left yeah, your country sure. travels several miles to come here. Yes. How did you convince them to allow you to enter into sports journalism whilst in school and even to leave your country to Ivy Coast? I live with my mother and my mother, when I, when I told her I was coming to Ivy Coast, she was surprised and she couldn't believe that I can make it. When leaving home, she prayed for me, she blessed me and she said I should go and I am here. I, I think that you may have sent some pictures back home when you got here in the stadium, seeing Black Stars players attending training to your family and friends in school. How do they feel? What has been the response? In my community, they set examples with me and I am very, very happy with that. All I can say is Alhamdulillah again. Alhamdulillah. How do you see yourself in this job? Is it something that you intend uh, to do professionally after school or you just have the passion and perhaps you have to transition into other areas? Is it something you want to do forever? Sure, sure. I will continue and even after school, I will love to continue this job. Well, you've watched some games, particularly Ghana games. Um, what can you say about the two games that we played so far? And if you have a, an opinion or observation of anything you have seen here that perhaps some of the most experienced journalists may not have even noticed. In our first game, our coach made a mistake. And the Ghanaian journalists and the Ghanaian supporters stood up to talk to the coach. After that, in our second game against the Pharaohs of Egypt, we all saw what the coach did. Starting Majid Ashimero and starting Idris Ubaba and starting Mohammed Kudus was something exceptional because since he shooting took the Black Stars coach, the Black Stars job, we've not seen him playing three attacking midfielders in the middle, but against the Pharaohs of Egypt. 
Kesioti started Kudus and Ashimero, and they are both offensive players. And we got the results. Silly mistakes from Osman Bukari and Inachi caused Ghana. So I hope in our last game tomorrow against the members of Mozambique, we can get the results and progress the round of 16 of this afternoon. Because since 2019, after we played in the round 16 against Tunisia, we've not able, we've not been able to qualify again to the round 16. Last year, Comoros knocked Ghana out in the group stages, and this year too, after two games, we have one point. So I hope tomorrow we can get the results against the members of Mozambique. Well, and um, that's a very blank assessment of our team. But uh, what do you see, uh, Ghana? How do you see Ghana progressing in? in the groups and how realistically do you think the Black Stars will end? Per what I saw against Egypt, Mohamed Kudus doing his magic. If Mohamed Kudus gets his day tomorrow, I hope Black Stars are going to carry the day. And after that, I hope the players, their confidence level will be high. So I think the Black Stars will end maybe in the semi-finals or the grand finale. I am so confident about it. Well, to end uh, with the other teams, uh, you've watched other games on, on TV. Which other teams and players have impressed you? And who are some players who you think have disappointed thus far? The Brave Warriors of Namibia. Kudos to coach Collins Benjamin, John Hyoto, and Peter Shalulile. They are very, they are playing very, very well in this tournament. And Capoverdi qualifying in just two games with six points. Kudos to Bebe. They've done well. And your disappointment uh, with any team or players? I am disappointed in the Idometable Lions of Cameroon winning the 2017 edition with the same players. Because in 2017, Fabrice Ondoa was the goalkeeper. He is in this tournament. Pierre Kunde was seen. Jen Castellito was seen. Only Vicente Abubakari is not in. But after two games, the Idometable Lions of Cameroon had only one point. So I am very, very disappointed in Coach Egobert's song and the Idometable Lions of Cameroon team. Well, there are certainly other parents who are going to watch this and uh, be interested in getting their kids to do this. What advice will you give to your colleagues who are youngsters in school? And what will you tell parents who want their children to be like, emulate what you are doing? they should keep learning and their parents what i will tell them is that they should support them with support everything will be okay well thank you very much uh we will certainly be speaking to you again uh, an african football expert already and uh we hope that his career was skyrocket based on the talent so you clearly can see that um, a lot of people are excited that you are here yes and um you would want to certainly attend other African Cup of Nations. Sure, sure, sure. sure. And uh, how how long do you intend to be attending tournament? What would be your dream? What would be the dream tournament that you want to attend? The FIFA World Cup, of course. The FIFA World Cup. I would love to attend the FIFA World Cup because most of the stars in the world play in the FIFA World Cup. The likes of Ronaldo and the rest, they play in the FIFA World Cup. So I want to attend the FIFA World Cup. Well, you want to attend the FIFA World Cup yes. one day, but what would be the biggest dream that you think uh, you want to achieve after the FIFA World Cup? Something that you want to do, somebody that you want to interview? Mm -hmm. I, the player that I want to interview is Cristiano Ronaldo. I am a very big fan of Cristiano Ronaldo, and after that, I want to build a big a big house for my mama. That's my dream. Build a big house for your mom. That's my dream. A very That's interesting it. dream.